it's not well understood. So we need to do more. Mm -hmm. We who say we are into branding need to run more workshops, mm -hmm. need to run more seminars, mm -hmm. more training programs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Because when you go through the marketing program, I mean, you are a lawyer, you branch at a certain point. I mean, I remember very well my, one of my lecturers actually said that he's looking forward to the time where mm -hmm. on the chatting of marketing program, mm -hmm. people will actually specialize. Mm -hmm. So you have people, I, I for example, after the sim, then I decided that, okay, I'm more interested, my interest is in into branding. So let me go find, for, find a branding consulting firm, work with them, study more, learn more, whatever it is. So you can have people who, brand, because that's what happens. When they leave the school, they go into other advertising, branding, sales promotion, PR, direct marketing, and stuff like that. And so they have a niche for themselves. Exactly, so the there's area. a specialism. But can companies do the same? That we are all doing water, but that we will niche ourselves oh, and say this much. is where we belong to. Very we are all much. accountants, but this is the type that we do. Is it possible for corporates to also, in branding, have a niche for themselves? Oh, pretty much. Pretty much. You, you see, like I made, I made mention of like a boutique bank, mm -hmm. for example, okay. where someone can set up a bank. Um, and and um, on one of my um, works across Europe, mm -hmm. we went to Switzerland. There is a, a bank there, it's a private bank, and has only two branches. And it's a wealth. I mean, it's a wealth manager. Two branches. That's it. Nowhere else. Okay. Only in Switzerland. Two branches in Switzerland, but mm. seven the rich of the rich. Mm. And what it means is that the fund manager is on call, mm. twenty four seven. Okay. This is someone who can fly with you everywhere you are going, advises you. I mean, he basically sleeps, eats your money, and right. gives you ideas on how where to grow it. So yes. You can cover it. And I, I remember very well, um, I think it was Mr. Charles Mensah, um, Sam Financial, con that the consultant. Yeah. He said that, look, with this whole universal bank and things like that, that we want banks to recapitalize and yeah. those things. He thinks that seriously, we should, we should, some of the banks should become retail banks. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm not, I'm not an expert in that. Okay. But what it means is that it's, it's, it's an exercise in defining where you can operate. Okay. Because you can't serve everybody. Okay. Even with television stations, sometimes you know you want sports and you know this is the one to watch. That's it. You want news, you know that's the one to watch. That's it. That's you it. want Kokonsa, so to so you know where you know to this go. is the one to go to. Uh -huh. Even with radio, uh -huh. I want to laugh, this is the one to tune into. That's the thing. It's about nation yourself. Uh -huh. So, I mean, it all, it all boils down to this whole um, Michael Porter's competitive strategy right. of whether low cost or uh, differentiated. Okay. And differentiate, if you want to differentiate it, there are a number of ways, about eight ways of differentiating your product. Okay. Whether it's by price, whether it's by product, whether it's by service, and okay. whatever it is. Right. And then the third bit is the niche bit. Mm. Where, and, and seriously, that is also a very profitable way of running a business. Interesting. We have to take a commercial break, but we cannot forget that sometimes people brand so well that they are, their, their brand name becomes a generic term True. for the competition. An old man will say, go and buy me graphic. Yes. And it necessarily does not mean daily graphic also, even if it's referring to some other newspaper. And I'm told that even papaya seems to represent fried rice in Accra <laughs> today.